Hi there, Rob speaking. Just a, a very quick one today on uh, the importance of uh, listening skills. Uh, there's a quote from uh, Jimi Hendrix, which I always, always remember. It's so well said. Uh, and it really is uh, one of the quotes that uh, really do start to tell you about how important listening is. And the quote is, <clears throat> knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Uh, how good is that, really? I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, of course, when, when, you're, when you're talking and you're explaining something to someone, uh, you're only repeating what you already know. Uh, but when you're listening uh, to someone, then you gain knowledge. Uh, so, as, they say, as he said, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. So the importance of listening is, uh, of course, enormous, uh, because if you do listen, uh, you're going to learn new things, whereas when you, you're speaking, uh, you're only telling people what you already know. So that's where I'd like to start with this, uh, with this brief conversation. Uh, but I'd like to tell you that the, the individual relationships that you build with people in the workplace as a manager and leader uh, really de very, depend very, very heavily on how good a listener you are. But what is a good listener? What is a good listener? I mean, do we all do we all listen uh, the same way? Uh, well, we all hear the same way uh, <laughs> through our ears, <laughs> but we don't all listen the same way. Uh, one of the one of the problems that we come across a lot, and I'm also talking about myself here. Uh, when I was younger, it was the the problem of uh, basically in a discussion uh, in the workplace, uh, always trying to get your own point of view across. Uh, so instead of listening and concentrating on what the person is actually saying to you, you're actually a lot of the time, and I, I, I include myself here, you're really uh, thinking about how you are going to respond to what the person is saying. But as soon as you start to do that and get into that thought process, you stop listening. You're not hearing the person anymore. You're not hearing what they're really saying anymore. And you're not focusing on them. Now... <clears throat> There's been a lot of research and a lot of talk about uh, attentive listening uh, and what we call active listening. Well, active listening, what is uh, active listening? Well, active listening uh, really is a skill that leaders and managers need to develop uh, to a very high point uh, because active listening involves a number of different things. First of all, uh, the syndrome I talked about earlier where you're actually thinking about your own response instead of listening to what the person's saying. Uh, that's one of the things that you have to try and train yourself not to do. Uh, and then you become a better listener. Uh, other things uh, that are included in an active listening is actually ensuring that you're attentive uh, to the body language. Uh, there's been a lot written about body language and so forth and the importance of it in communication. Um, but there are very obvious signs, you know, if someone's yawning a lot, for example, well, it might be that they're tired, but it also might be that they're bored uh, with what you're saying. Uh, so you have to be attentive. You have to observe uh, a person's body language, too. Uh, you have to choose your words carefully, and you have to watch and observe and listen very carefully to what the person's telling you. So when you're watching someone, for example, uh, neurolinguistic programming would tell us, uh, there's a lot of mirroring going on in active listening. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means basically if someone's leaning toward you uh, when you're speaking and so forth and you're leaning toward them, then this, this is a sign that there's a lot, there is actually some kind of communication passing there. You're looking at each other, you're, you can see the facial expressions that the other person's using, you can hear what they're saying. Uh, and you can you see that you're, you know, you're in a posture which is the same as the other person. Imagine you're talking to someone, in fact, uh, and you start leaning away when you're talking. Uh, well, you know, most of the time this is going to signal to the person that you're uh, showing some kind of disinterest in, in what they're seeing. Uh, so there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of other things that are really important. But one of the most important for me, uh, and one of the easiest uh, skills really to, to, to master in terms of attentive listening or active listening, as I called it earlier, really is how to reformulate what someone said. So when you're in the middle of a discussion, an important discussion with one of you or one of your people, one of your colleagues, never forget, uh, 
if you've not quite understood what they've said, uh, and even if you think you have understood uh, what they've said, don't forget uh, to use, to reformulate what they've said uh, and check for understanding. And that's very important. Uh, and it could avoid so many cases of miscommunication and complete uh, lack of communication in actual fact. It's amazing. So, so it's just an amazing technique. I mean, it's so easy to learn. I mean, someone says to you, you know, uh, the, well, I was thinking about increasing the productivity uh, uh, on the production line. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, and what we need to do is we need to invest in this new machinery, which is uh, computer operated. And we need special training on that. Uh, and uh, we need to do that within the next couple of months. So, you know, and make sure you've understood. You say, so, so what you're saying is we need to introduce some new technology on the production line. We need some training on that, uh, and this is this is going to help us increase productivity uh, on the production line. Is that correct? And the person will either say yes or no. Uh, no, you didn't quite understand what I said to you, and then they'll repeat the, what they said, or they'll tell you in a different way. Yeah, and and if you haven't understood uh, the reason behind it, don't forget to ask the question, which is a really important question: Why? Uh, so why why is that important? You know, is 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 is, is, uh, is there a real reason why this is important? And the person, if you ask someone three to four times the question why, uh, when you're not quite sure uh, why the person's telling you what they're telling you, you'll get to a point where uh, you'll know whether or not the person is actually telling you uh, something that's valid. Uh, not to say untrue or true, but at least to say it's valid. Yeah? So I hope these little pointers, these are just some small pointers on about uh, uh, effective listening. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you are uh, an effective listener, in fact, uh, two things happen. Well, the first thing that happens is it builds, uh, uh, builds confidence because, uh, confidence and trust, because uh, if you're a good listener uh, and you manage to listen attentively and actively, uh, you don't tend to forget what people tell you, yeah, and you should note things down too, uh, because what often happens is someone will tell you something, uh, uh, but you shouldn't really be asking the same question again the next time you see them, yeah? Uh, you know, and uh, it's, it's really important that you, uh, as a manager and leader, uh, show interest, uh, and you can't really show interest if you can't remember what the person said to you. Uh, so repeating uh, what people have said to you, uh, uh, ensuring that you remember, writing notes, all this kind of thing, really help build uh, trust uh, and as uh, someone once said uh, you know if you uh, if you make uh, promises to someone uh, you you build hope uh, but when you keep your promises you build trust uh, but you can't keep your promises unless you've listened to the person correctly and understood what they've said and remembered what they've said so I hope these small small pointers have helped you today uh, and I'll see you uh, in the very near future for another one in management and leadership Thank you very much.